I'm going to quickly show you how to set up some drivers uh, in Blender to help with animation. In this case, I'm doing 2D cutout animation. This is my character Ron, who I'm currently rigging. He's very simple 2D, but he works okay. I've got a bunch of mouth shapes here, and I want to cycle their visibility based on this little graphical interface I've set up with a torus and copies of each of the mouth shapes. So let me show you how this works. Starting with this mouth, which is Ron AE, I need to control the visibility and the render time visibility of this shape. So I'll right click on the visibility and I'll add a driver. The eyeball turns pink. Under the F curve menu here, change to drivers. Now restrict view, which is this pink icon, is now here. And you can see I have a curve uh, driving that mouth shape now. First thing I need to do is change the driver from ex scripted expression to a sum value and I want this not to be a transform channel that drives it but the distance between two other objects. So the visibility of this shape is going to be driven by the distance in uh, local space between these two objects. Now I'll set the first one to be my little white torus here <coughs> and the second one to be the copy of that mouth shape that I've got in the GUI. Now that mouth is AE ref. As soon as I've selected that, everything disappears. That mouth shape is now invisible because these two objects are far apart. As I move them closer together, you see that mouth shape is becoming visible. Now what I need to do is change how quickly that mouth appears or disappears based on this distance. So to do that, I change this curve here and I make this second key happen earlier. So if I go up to the value here and pick uh, this keyframe, frame one at value one at frame one, and I'll change that to point two. That means that the curve is tighter, which means this torus has to just about be on top of that mouth shape to make it visible. So that works. Now all I need to do. <coughs> is put that also on the render time visibility. Simplest way is to copy that driver and paste it. Now at render time, that mouse shape will be appearing and disappearing correctly. Now all I need to do is copy and paste that to each of these mouse shapes and change what the relationship is so that in here for each, the torus it is there, but each individual mouse shape is replaced. And then this will simply work and then I can put all the mouse shapes there on my character, stack them up, and they will appear and disappear based on this GUI, which I can move, I can scale, and it all still works. I can hide this completely. I've already got one set up over here for Ron's arms. I'm going to have a left and a right arm, and this simply swaps out different arm shapes based on which arm on this GUI that my little Taurus is hovering over. Simple.